Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Paul C707 coming at you with another video. So guys, tomorrow the 4th, actually, it's kind of like a precursor to New York Comic Con. Um, I know the 5th really kicks it off in, into the weekend, but I thought it'd be, a, do, it'd be a cool idea to do a video right before we get into the swing of things as far as New York Comic Con goes. So um, what do you guys uh, think, man? Are you guys excited for the new drops for Funko Pops and some of the comic exclusives for the uh, New York Comic Con? Uh, well, anyway, I thought it'd be cool to do like a, a CDC slab showcase of some slabs that I've been meaning to kind of share with you guys, but it's been a while. Um, I've been really super busy, slammed at work. And it's been kind of hard to kind of make time to put away, put together this video, so I'm actually doing it right now, so I'm happy to share with you. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to kick things off with a slab that I'm really happy uh, and privileged to have add to my collection. It is Jessica Jones, number six. It is, um, it's actually um, uh, like a um, convention exclusive. Um, it is from the, Com the Comics Auto uh, edition. So it's basically La Mole Con that happened um, late uh, uh, last year. So uh, earlier this year, I got Kristen Ritter uh, that plays Jessica Jones from the series. I got her to sign it. And let me give you a little close up of the signature. It's actually a rather big signature. She signed it in gold. I requested it for it to be a, like a you know relatively big signature, so uh, I'm a big fan of like metallic uh, sharpie uh, signatures, like gold, silver, bronze, preferably gold then silver than bronze. But in any event, uh, here is the back. Let me show. I know it's um, slabs that kind of uh, reflect glare, so I do apologize for that. But here it is, Jessica Jones number six. The, the, the La Mole uh, Con uh, in Mexico. That is signed by Kristen Ritter. Our next one up, guys, is a slab that I've been waiting to add to the collection. Um, you may have seen it in the previous video. Uh, I've actually shared it with both the artist, Ron Lim, and the writer of Infinity War number one. Well, this one is signed by the artist, Ron Lim, uh, graded uh, at 9.6 by CGC. So I have a 9.8, which I'm probably sure you've seen in the previous video. And I'm really happy to add this to the collection. So I have a couple 9.6s here. So guys, you know, I noticed in a lot of my videos that have 9.8s. And you know, you can't always hit a home run. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get a 9.6 here and there. And, but I'm, you know, still relatively high grade, still considered near mint. So I'm really happy to add that to the collection. And now here is surprisingly enough, guys, is a grade that I completely don't agree with. I mean, I looked it over myself, front and back. Uh, in my opinion, and I know I'm not a professional grader working for CGC, but I believe this is a 9.8, 9.6 grade. So maybe something inside the book that I may have missed. But here we go. Uh, True Believers number one, Thanos the first. It's a reprint of Iron Man 55, the first appearance of Thanos. Thanos, signed by the artist, uh, Mr. Jim Starlin this book so here we have Ron Lim here we have Jim Starlin there and we'll put it right next to the 10 inch Thanos Target exclusive Funko Pop and without further ado guys is a slab that's actually I'm really thrilled to finally add to the collection I mean this has actually been long going uh, it's I would say over a 20 year journey because I shared it in a previous video how I had the opportunity to buy this book for 10 bucks, but because I didn't have money on me, I waited till like the following day to purchase it from a, a schoolmate. But he realized what it, how much it was worth, and so of course it wasn't $10 the next day. So anyway, I had a chance to buy this book for 10 bucks, but I didn't. So 20 plus years later, I'm able to, to add it to the collection, and I also get it signed by the man himself, Mr. Stan the Man Lee, at Silicon Valley Comic Con. One of the very last public appearances that Stanley will be making. Now he only does private signings. But uh, as you can see the signature, do a little close up of it. Kind of gives you an idea. I mean, he, I know he's super tired, you know. But also he's, he's you know, he, poor guy, he's really old, you know. He's not the Stan Lee that we all know and, and remember. Uh, uh, I mean, just look at the signature. I mean, it kind of shows you, gives you an idea of, you know, he's... Uh, really uh, getting old but I'm very thrilled and honored to add it to the collection nonetheless so this is my first mid-grade 
slab. So, but I'm honored and, and, and like I said, privileged and thrilled to have it in the collection. This is my, uh, one of my key issues that I finally got encapsulated and it's definitely going into the archives. So guys, um, I've had my channel for a few years now and I, I'm very grateful to all you uh, subscribers and viewers. And if this is the first time that you've actually seen this video and seen one of my videos in, in this channel, definitely I uh, recommend and, and suggest to just subscribe, you know? And uh, for more future content, definitely hit that bell notification button and I'll alert you on future content. But uh, I thought I'd, I'd do something nice, uh, something different, something random. I thought I'd add a little giveaway. So if you guys stay to the very end of this video, I'm gonna be giving away uh, Ant-Man San Diego Comic-Con exclusive pop. All you gotta do is a few things. You have to be a subscriber. You have to hit the like button on this video. And you also have to write in the comments section below what are some of the New York Comic Con 2018 Funko Pops or or even uh, comic variants exclusives that you're looking forward to owning for this year. So definitely hit the like button, also be a subscriber, and leave a comment. Now, I'm also going to add to that too, is that you got to follow me on, on, on Instagram. You can follow me at policy 7 That way, if you are a winner of this contest, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, notify you via IG so definitely um, hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to share and comment thanks for watching this is Paul C707 signing off and I'll see you guys on the next video take care